Gourmand fragrances. Now it might be a little intimidating for some dudes to be like, yo, I'm gonna wear something that's a little fruity or smells like a cake or a cupcake or, or something edible. Like some dudes may feel uncomfortable and other dudes who are just getting in the space are like, what the hell is a gourmand? Why should I care about it? And do I really wanna wear something that makes me feel edible? You should, but I'ma put you onto 10 fragrances that I feel are a really nice stepping stone. And, and no matter your level, in the fragrance space. I think these are wearable in all occasions, both niche and designer. So let's roll my music so I can put you on to 10 safe gourmand fragrances that any dude can wear. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. Don't get intimidated. Your man's is here to not have you smelling crazy in these streets. So I compiled a list of 10 very safe yet sexy gourmand fragrances that dudes who are getting into the space or are even in the space but just haven't tapped into the gourmand space can rock with like super comfort. Now these fragrances are in no particular order, right? They all have some sort of sweet element, some coffee vibe, maybe a little chocolatey vibes, maybe some fruit. All those things that have that edible element, that gourmandy type vibe. So one of the first fragrances I'm gonna start off with is one of the kings in that gourmand space or queens, whatever you wanna be referred to as, and that's Killian's Black Phantom. Now we're talking about an absolute chocolatey booze fest when it comes to this fragrance. An amazing scent profile, sweet, sexy, dark. I always describe it as an ominous scent profile. It's nutty with its almond vibes. It's dark chocolate, it's sweet, it's boozy, it's mysterious, it's caramel. It's an absolute sex bomb that some shorty's gonna absolutely want to whisper her sweet nothings in your ear and maybe she'll eat your ass. Next one. In keeping with that sweet caramelo vibe, this fragrance is a sleeper. One of the newer in my collections. It took me a significant amount of time to get this fragrance because I kind of wasn't really checking for it. But then when I got it, I was like, yeah, this joint slaps and that's Zhirzhov Lyra. It's this beautifully creamy, vanillic, musky nuance with a very sweet yet bitter blood orange vibe. It's got almost like the perfect balance of sweet, creamy, milky, citric. It's like a Dominican drink called Mori Soñando. It's orange juice and like condensed milk or whatever the hell it is. Like it's a very unusual creamsicle-ish type vibe with a heavy musk, but heavier as far as masculinity and creaminess is concerned based on how it marries with that vanilla. The citrus just adds a beautiful fresh component, which gives it a lot of versatility. So it's an easy wear in the gourmand space. Now it does come with a nipple tassel. So that's also a plus for all those who want to get kinky after getting your ass here. Next one. The best part of waking up is intense cafe in your cup. That was stupid. So Montal Intense Cafe. The name should already lend itself to what it is. Intense coffee. And I mean sex bomb coffee. It's creamy, it's dense, it's rose-ish, it's coffee. Absolutely sexy, performs outstanding. But for those people who are not familiar with the Montal brand, when you get this joint, because you're most likely gonna buy it from a gray market dealer, just know that, yes, it feels like there's nothing inside of this bottle and you're gonna feel jerked. There is 100 mLs of fragrance in this bottle, but this bottle legit weighs nothing. It feels mad suspect comparatively to all the other big dog glass bottles. It just feels like there's nothing but CO2 up in this piece and you just got juxt. No, there's actual fragrance in here that smells spectacular. A lot of women tend to enjoy this fragrance, but everything is subjective, right? But when it comes to a gourmandy vibe, intense cafe, chef's kiss, next one. I don't know about you, but I don't finish my dessert off in a restaurant with like a little coffee or espresso, but I need me some tiramisu and that's Salvatore Faregamo, Womo. Womo is just straight up tiramisu in a bottle. The sweet vibe and tonka in here and this little coffee fleck, it just truly smells like a tiramisu dessert at a fine Italian eatery. This is a gorgeous scent profile. I still think it's underrated. Although a ton of people do enjoy this fragrance, I still don't feel that this scent profile has reached the notoriety that it really deserves. An absolutely amazing designer fragrance. I think it was concocted with niche mentals in mind, they, but they put it in together in a designer platform that I think is just stellar. So if you like that tiramisu coffee-ish kind of whipped sugar aspect, Womo, oh, 
next one. Now, if we're gonna switch it up a little bit, and for those people who are into like the whole Kentucky Derby or racing on the ponies, you need you a little mint julep. Sweet mint and tangerine. It absolutely smells like a mint julep cocktail, trust me. The notes are listed on the back of the joint, so it's tangerine, sweet mint, southern magnolia, bourbon, grisalva, sugar cube, and crushed ice. It's one of the most realistic, boozy smelling fragrances in the space, and it smells so sugary and minty that it's absolutely refreshing and invigorating, especially in the warm weather. If you are familiar with that cocktail and you want like that scent profile, I think this is a perfect option to go. And if you live in a warmer climate and just want some overall safe vibes, but wanna be exclusive, Mint Julep is an absolute beautiful Gourmandi fragrance you gotta try out, next one. Whenever I see the name of this song, I think of that old school, I got a crush on you, my baby. Crush On Me by Unique Luxury. Another caramelo bomb. For me, I just think of crushed ice with a lemon seltzer, caramel, and a ginger garnish. It's a dense caramel base with a beautiful musky wood but it's really a lot of seltzery, fizzy, gingery vibes that you get out of this fragrance. Like if you're making your own cocktail comprised of like this really fizzy sparkliness, but with some sort of garnish and maybe a, a caramel essence or something in that cocktail, this is kind of what you get here. It's a beautifully versatile fragrance, very sexy, and it just truly performs outstanding off the skin. Unique Luxury has some bangers in there, like a Coutet fragrance, which unfortunately I don't have for this video, but that's an incredible whiskey fragrance, a great option to get as well. But Crush On Me is one that I do have, and I think is extremely unique and easy for you dudes to wear. Next one. Now this one is a spicy, loud fragrance that contains the note of rhubarb. Now rhubarb is one of these notes that come off a little spicy, kind of red pimento-ish kind of vibes with like a bright tinge of, of like this spicy airiness, like taking a bite out of a big red piece of gum. And this is Virtus by Narcissus. Narcosis, whatever. Scent profile is tart, spicy, bright, citric, and it has a little bit of a hemp note. And when I mean a little, I mean like it smells like you've been smoking it up. Very lively, very green, but again, it has that rhubarb note. That rhubarb note just adds this, it adds a spicy element and the herbal components in this fragrance are really stellar. The performance is what really blows me away. Like two sprays of this joint really does go a long way off the skin. So I highly recommend this joint as a more masculine and a little bit of a greenery type scent profile that's really crazy off the skin. Next one. I don't know if many people would consider this gourmand, but if it's a leather fragrance with a lot of sweetness, vanillic notes, and sugary vibes, it's in the gourmand space, no matter how leathery it is. And for me, Carolina Herrera CH Men is one of these fragrances. Now this is the big bottle. Clearly, as you can tell by the size of the bottle on my torso, it shit is no joke. One of the undisputed monsters in the designer space when it comes to leather. A beautiful scent profile, readily available. It's a leather-based fragrance that's real deep and sexy, but it's a lots of sweetness in here. There's sugary vibes, there's vanillic vibes, and I think that leather and suede combination give it some sort of a creaminess to it, like some sort of smooth, sexy element in here that really pops. There's also notes like bergamot and nutmeg. There's a concoction of shit in here. So if you're really taking that leathery aspect and keeping that whole, you can't disregard that sweet vibe. So this is an absolutely easy to wear sexy fragrance in that gourmandy space that no question you can pull this joint off easy. Next one. Chocolate Oud Florals Nasamato Pardon. A little bottle that's a little pricey but has a big punch. Great performance, deep chocolate, like really like cacao pods being picked off this motherfucker. This is sick. Beautiful scent profile, nicely boozy, with a nice subtle booze, but it's really dark chocolate, cinnamon, some floral components, and deep, deep woods. Performs incredible. One of the best in the Nasamato lineup, easy top two in my opinion. So if you wanna step your game up in a different way and really enhance dark chocolate and oud vibes, pardon, fire and last and certainly not least. This one might be on the riskier side as opposed to all of these, but I want you guys to step outside of your box. This is risky even for me, but the sweetness, that juicy raspberry, that brightness, there's a concoction of fruit vibes in here, but it's an amazing fragrance when it dries down and I really want people that never experienced this joint to try it on. That's Ramon Monegal's Flamenco. Flamenco is crazy off the skin. You may smell it right from the top like I did and be like, yo, chill, Coops, that shit is femeninos. 
Dogs, this, try this joint on the skin. Those juicy notes and those musky vibes in this fragrance, once it settles, and if you got that right pH for this fragrance, it is magical, attention grabbing. There's no way that somebody isn't going to turn their head, whether positive or negative, I don't know, but it's gonna garner this incredible attention, like what are you wearing? And usually women, if they wanna smell it for themselves, maybe they'll have the confidence to approach you on some like, that's a beautiful scent. I would love to wear that for me. Feel confident. That's an icebreaker portion for that ass. You know what I'm saying? So Ramon Monegal Flamenco, juicy, super fruity, very bright, but still has body and masculinity. Again, this is the riskier one. You can take it as like a stepping stone working your way up to this piece, but I don't want you to be deprived of this piece because it's gorgeous. So these are 10 beautiful gourmand fragrances that I feel are safe for you guys, even the Ramon Monegal, for you to step into your comfort zone when it comes to that gourmand shit. I don't want you to get turned off and be like, nah, that shit is too fruity. Nah, that shit smells like cake. Nah, it's whipped sugar. Esto huele un merengue. Like, let's expand that nasal palette. I was just like you, super shook, wearing these joints that smell like candy, but if she wants to nibble on the kid, who am I to say no? I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Let me know which one is your favorite gourmand or put together your own gourmand list and I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches.